So in next parts we have one option called starts with. So this is the option that you can use the starts with and I will show you how this works and come back to this option I mean come back to the browser and now now I wanted to try on the starts with option so using uh, relative to xpath double quotations I mean double forward slashes and locate this input field called email now I will try on this uh, where ID is there but it is uh, getting changed every time or it is changing every time email 1, email 2, email 3 on every refresh it is happening. So how I can identify such cases. Then I will use input here. Input and that's the square brackets and at the rate ID. I mean this is normal way uh, we are discussing on starts with right. So starts with I have to use explicitly starts with starts hyphen with so after using this again you have to use the bracket symbols square brackets and then at the rate ID ID comma the message what it has the value it has so the value is email I think these are not square brackets these are normal brackets right right it is started identifying you can see here now uh, I have used entire the value of ID I will use uh, three characters or two characters you can see even though I used two characters it is still trying to identify that locator so this is the advantage which starts with so in dynamically changing locators you have uh, ID or a index at the end email 1 2 3 4 email 1 2 3 4 5 email 1 2 3 4 5 6 so likewise you will get on every refresh so to handle such cases then you can use this option called starts with